My name is Mohammed Gorgistani. I'm an Iranian American filmmaker based here in San Francisco. My family and I immigrated to the United States in 1988, kind of on the beginning of the end phase of the Iran Iraq War. We spent some time in Turkey working on our visas, living in hotels, bouncing around, and then landed in San Jose, California. I was an athlete in high school. I was kind of the captain of our wrestling team and had plans to wrestle collegiately. And slowly but surely, creative writing and photography kind of lent itself to my interest towards the back half of high school. I had started noticing that I was a very sensitive person and uh, started to kind of express those sensitivities in the form of writing and photography and then saw a few movies and then at some point basically decided to go to film school. I didn't really know what that meant. And that was kind of a crazy idea based on the people that I was kind of growing up with, you know, very blue collar type of friend base that I had and I knew that's kind of what I wanted to do or I thought I knew that's what I wanted to do and that was enough to kind of take the next step. And then went to film school in Vancouver, British Columbia. I was the kid in class who had not seen as many movies as everyone else. Having less of a reference point for things allowed me to kind of not be contaminated with trying to rip off other ideas. Because at the end of the day, you know, subconsciously art will be imitation. So I was able to more imitate my life experience rather than other works of art. I made a film called The Shade, Saya. I made that, let's see, I was 21 when I finished that film. I didn't know if it was good, bad, I didn't, I didn't know, I just was making it. And then, you know, we got into the Tribeca Film Festival, we won a few awards. That kind of small level of validation made me realize that in addition to like having a huge interest in this, this was something that maybe I could keep working on and building on. It was interesting, that movie, after I made it, made me realize how much of a interest inside myself I had towards my own culture. So I took a step back and I was like, wow, I didn't make a movie that took place in a downtown with a bunch of Western themes. I made this Iranian film and I really wanted to make something like this and I didn't really know why. And then I started exploring why and I kind of stumbled on this notion that I had a strong affection towards a very specific part of my culture, which I think is rooted in creativity and the way Iranian artists have told stories. Once that got done, we moved to San Francisco and just waited tables and was writing, writing, writing. Started working on a few commercial things that I would get here and there, really hustling my own way. That kind of blossomed into a small production company um, that I still co-run here in the city and did a startup for a few years that I co-founded as well. And then um, developed a project with ITVS that ended up being a film called Refuge that we um, made in San Jose last year in September. Call to order the San Jose City Public Safety Committee meeting for June 29, 2020. Council members. You know, it's a piece that I'm pretty proud of because it was a very hard film to make. And I think we had just had a great crew and cast that told, I think, a very important story. So that film's been doing festivals and things and was a staff pick on Vimeo and got me on the list for the 25 New Faces of Independent Film, which I'm proud of that because my parents are proud of that. It's nice to, to be recognized by your peers as an Iranian-American filmmaker in an independent American film community that does not have a lot of Iranian-American representation, I think is really cool. It puts a lot of pressure on me but I really like pressure. <laughs> I work well under pressure. That just kind of is a reflection of kind of my athletic background, if you will. I, I actually don't shy away from that. I mean, a lot of people ask me about my creative process and they say, well, how do you approach I was like, well, I approach it like a wrestling match. It's all about the training you do before and then once the lights are on, it's just about being in flow. So yeah, so I find myself kind of as an Iranian American filmmaker trying to make films in a really critical time in the history of independent cinema. The independent film community right now is, is a very tough one. It's under 
I would I don't want to over dramatize it, but it's totally under siege. It's very hard to make a living as an independent filmmaker. Everyone is trying to build tools and ways of experiencing content for free, and there's been this understanding that people should not pay for things that are creative and they like. Now I am working on a feature-length film titled Somehow These Days Will Be Missed, which is a semi-autobiographical narrative about my family's experience in early Silicon Valley. It's a story of kind of the have-nots and my, the people of my neighborhood, kind of embodied in a character who moves here with his family in search of the American dream and an idea of what that is. Thematically, there's a lot of stuff going on. I would frame it kind of like, you know, there's a Breaking Bad element to it with this character who kind of lands in a situation he wasn't, he didn't choose and is using his resources around him to just get by. And that kind of takes over his life. But through that, he gets a better understanding of the people around him, the world around him, and what happens to someone when the American dream turns into the American nightmare. I would like to more think of myself as a storytelling entrepreneur. I don't try to just keep my head on the creative side of things. I want to think forward about how to help influence the greater creative community I'm a part of. And I've decided that I'm going to make films that take the things I enjoy about the cultures that I've been associated with, which is the Iranian culture and the American culture and another culture being the community I grew up with. And also, because I was in the tech world, the venture capital world as well. So taking these different communities I've been heavily immersed in that are almost polar opposites of each other and deciding that I'm going to take what I find to be the best elements of those cultures and streamline them into narrative storytelling.